Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the European Crossover Webinar. And we are seeing the Euro trading just relatively quiet ahead of the ECB. Uh, we can also go and take a look at a couple of others also. And the cable, which did a bit of a little bit of a recovery yesterday, you can see here with a mini hammer. Uh, same thing, relatively quiet. And uh, when we take a look at the Aussie dollar, which did a bit of a turnaround here yesterday in and of itself, you can see here a complete uh, bullish engulfing line. I guess the head of ECB were relatively quiet. We did see a pretty good uh, return rally in risk yesterday, uh, which certainly uh, sparked this move here in the Aussie dollar. The euro relatively quiet here. Uh, taking a look at uh, equity futures. We're actually pushing against these lows here on the NASDAQ. We saw a heck of a little rally here yesterday see that run up in here. Um, we have these gravestone dojis, although it looks a little bit long for a gravestone doji, but you can see here we're pressing down into this area here. We pressed up into the, you know, after, up into the 460s. See, we pull back. We saw um, with the end of, with the actual futures, uh, not futures, but I mean the equities. Um, so quite the move yesterday afternoon where it looked like it looked like I was going to tire out, then it made one more move and then a little bit higher. And then all of a sudden we came back in and then, uh, then we uh, took another dip. And essentially that's been it here. You can see here as we close and then we you can see all oh, really up and down affair. Took a dip, took one more rally back up here in Asia. And here we are pushing back. Taking a look at the uh, E-mini, the S&Ps, uh, somewhat similar here, similar type of move. And then a gold, uh, just hanging around this 1952 area. Taking a look at today. No data until 6 a.m. Um, a little bit of German and, Italian, and French uh, and also a UK consumer surveys. A little bit late here, 6 a.m. Eastern. German, French, UK, Italian, and Spanish consumer surveys. And of course, we get the ECB meeting. Uh, as we turn into the States, uh, we'll get jobless, <clears throat> our weekly jobless claims, along with the PPI final demand at 8.30 Eastern, with wholesale inventories at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern. And that'll be it. Um... News is relatively quiet, obviously ahead of ECB. Uh, the yuan eases as the ECB meeting is awaited. Chinese yuan slipped on Thursday as market participants awaited an ECB meeting to gauge policymakers' views on the common currency's recent appreciation. Traders said that the yuan could again test the 681 to dollar level if the euro remains strong. While market makers, uh, while markets expect the ECB to quickly Keep policy steady. Investors will closely watch uh, President Christine Lagarde's comments on how the euro's rise to a two-year high this month affects the outlook for inflation and economic growth. The PBOC set the midpoint at 6.8331 per dollar uh, prior to the uh, market open, firmer than the previous 6.8423. 
for the short term, there's a big impact from U.S. equities. One appreciation could lose momentum if U.S. stocks extend declines at a trader with Chinese bank. Investors could seek shelter in the safe haven greenback in case of a sharper correction uh, on the Wall Street, pushing the dollar index higher and putting pressure on the renminbi. The United States has revoked uh, visas for more than a thousand Chinese nationals under May 29th presidential proclamation to suspend uh, entry from China of students and researchers deemed security risk. A State Department spokesman said on Wednesday. And the euro grinds highest traders look to ECB for direction. The euro is higher on Monday. On Thursday, as traders braced for the ECB meeting to gauge uh, policymakers' views, starting steadied above a six week low, but could lose some more ground due to the growing concern of Britain and European Union will fail to agree on a trade deal. While the markets expect the ECB to keep the policy steady, investors will closely watch Lagarde's comments. The ECB is the week's biggest event so far, as there's a lot at stake, said Masuri. Uh, Ishibashi, General Manager Sumitomo. The most recently, the ECB downplayed the inflation, but I want to see how Lagarde will approach this in the press conference. This will determine which way the euro goes. The euro brought uh, 1821, holding on to a three tenths percent gain from the previous session. The pound traded 2993, recovering slightly from a dip to a six week low of 2839 on Wednesday. Sentiment for cable has taken a hit after Britain unveiled draft legislation that Alan says raises the possibility of exiting the EU single market in four months uh, with no trade agreement in place. The dollar held steady against the safe haven Harbor Swiss franc. The euro got a boost on Wednesday after Bloomberg reported that the ECB officials are growing more confident in the uh, bloc's economic outlook. And ECB views are also in spotlight after the eurozone consumer prices turned lower in August for the first time since 2016 and U.S. Federal Reserve switch to the focusing on average inflation. It's possible that the ECB could try uh, to outdo the Fed if the euro appreciation goes too far, but whether the, that will be done by shifting average inflation targeting or other means is hard to say. Aiden Yao, uh, emerging Asian economist, told uh, global markets. With no major economic data during the Asian trading market moves were subdued as investors waited for potential ECB catalysts. With that, we're going to move into the analysis. And it's just going to be very quiet ahead of um, ECB. So the year rallied on Wednesday ahead of the ECB. Resistance will be 1882 with support at 1714. So it's 1882 with support at 1714. And like I said, look, this is a pretty good turnaround here on um, yesterday's we pushed back hard. Look like we're going to start the week with a dip lower. So uh, caught shorts a little bit off guard and we pressed them here and um, made it up to our bias chart. Yesterday was 1832, made it right there. And for pairing back a little bit, we've kept the pressure up here. With that, um, let's go into the cable.
And you can see here with this fall uh, yesterday, we did um, see the market post a bit of a, a hammer bottom here. So cable rallied off the lows on Wednesday to form a hammer bottom. Resistance on Thursday will be 3096 with support at And same thing with the return of risk. We saw a bullish engulfing line here with the Aussie dollar. So the Aussie posted a bullish engulfing bar on Wednesday as risk uh, rallied. Resistance will be 7308 with support at 7215. So a real uh, change about here that we saw here with uh, the Aussie and actually most of the risk going across the board. Saw a far better, you know, re re uh, return rally than would have expected. So the key would post a bullish cloud cover, you can see here, almost ended up being a bullish engulfing bar, but a bullish cloud cover on Wednesday. Resistance on Thursday will be 67.19, we supported 66.26. And the dollar cat <clears throat> posted a dark cloud cover post Bank of Canada. Resistance will be 32.14 with support at 31.20. So we've actually come pretty close already down here. 
3134, it looks like. But 3120. And 3214. And really cool, it's quite the turnaround here. As I said, it's just very, very quiet. This morning. And the dollar peso fell through the basement on Wednesday. Support on Thursday will be 2134. Um, let's see if we got down here. Pretty close to it. Uh, with resistance at 2155. Then on to the dolly in. The dolly in closed around 620, drifting somewhat directionless. Resistance will be 658 with support at 588. You can see here we're just kind of, as I said, just drifting here. So. So the dollar index peered back before reaching bias chart resistance at 93.89. I mean, we almost made it up there. We did came up a little bit short, uh, but I think the high was only like 69, but uh, then our resistance was 89. So it did pair back. Resistance will remain the same, which is going to be 93.89 in case we get the euro to turn on and sell up big, uh, if that happens. Uh, and uh, support will be 92.83. So giving it a bit of a wide berth, um, but like I said, with ECB, um, you can see all kinds of moves. We can keep this the same here. It's going to depend on uh, <clears throat> a lot of uh, what um, Lagarde says. With that, we're going to move into the cross rates. Look at this, boy, that was a quite the turnaround. Look at this after this good sell-off and a strong sell-off bar and then only to turn around and do a bullish cloud cover here. 
So um, quite the return, although I would, I would expect it to run out of gas. Right in this area right there is going to be resistance, which is 7108. Support. Just coming right across all these touches right here. I'll call it about, which isn't too far from the bottom. Let's just call it. I don't think we'll go back that far. So that's right here, right there, coming across. Still would be quite the pullback, which would be 7015. And to the euro yen. Decent uh, bullish cloud cover here. Test the upside. Right there is going to be resistance, which would be 2583. Right there, 24.94. That'd be a pretty good little pullback, but that's where you would get a solid line if we get that far back. You can see here a pretty good sell-off yesterday. Uh, actually, a bearish engulfing bar. Uh, we didn't press too much for the yesterday. I mean, today, I should say. But um, the day is still young with the ECB ahead. Support would come in right there. 62.18. And resistance comes in right there at 62.89. Of course, any surprises out of the ECB is going <clears> to <throat> see some overshoots. Same thing, look, yesterday we saw that the market press higher only to engulf the entire prior day's body. So we're just basically treading water here. Resist right there, but once again with ECB, we could easily overshoot this. Um, 7773, we'll actually push it to right here. 7805 because of ECB, get a little bit more room. Support can be down here. Seventy six fourteen.
and a bullish engulfing bar here with the OCM, obviously with the turn of risk. I expect a whole lot more, so resistance should be right there. support come here to And you can see have we cascaded here with the weakness in sterling um, to find a little bit of bottom here yesterday. Support's going to come in right there at Not expecting much of a bounce, um, but here's where resistance will come in right there. 3842. <clears throat> I guess we're not going to give it too much room. 3842 there. And support will be this little gap in here. It should be 37.43. And lastly, let's go to Sterling Nod. 37.47. The risk level will be 79.47. And that's going to go and do it here for um, on a very, very quiet ECB morning, which is to be expected. Uh, no fireworks until we get to the meeting, and we'll see what Lagarde says. But uh, thanks for joining us here in the European Crossover Webinar. We'll get this posted in the chat room. Have a good day. And uh, let me take a look here. Mark said um, about Dow levels. Let me take a look at that real quick. Uh, 
So it's a pretty good little rebound in here up into this area right there. You see the touches there. You can actually draw a line here. Right there. And right here's your, let's get, Actually, I've come right into support right there. You see that? Which is 27.72. And uh, immediate risk is going to be right there. Right there. So we've come into a little bit of a support area right here. Let me get rid of this. And on a break lower, right there. So kind of a little bit of no man's land, but I think um, the mark will have a hard time getting past 27,939. And on any dips, got immediate support here at 27,682. But we've got a nice little, um, see right here, the rally back up in here. And see how we kind of rallied here came back rallied once we got above this line we hit those stops so this is a support area we just came into this 27.75 and a break lower would you'll find additional support at 27.682 and um first area of resistance come up in here is going to be right there at 27.939 okay and that'll do it for us, and thanks for joining us here on the European Crossover webinar.